Hey guys, welcome to another video and you are now in my living room in a nighttime environment shoot. You know, I never really thought that I could get sufficient lighting uh, just based off my, my house lights. I have a lot of lights on right now. Every single display cabinet lights are on as well as a overhead ceiling fan light kit that's on at the moment. So there's a mixture of light temperatures. I might have to do some color correction in the post, but um, hope this looks good for you guys and uh, we'll see how this goes. If this works, um, this will be an opportunity for me to do blogs when my wife is not at home. Tonight, for example, she's got, uh, she has a previous appointment that she has to be, uh, she has to attend. So I'm left to fend for myself. So rather than play PUBG or um, watch another movie or something, I decided I'll make some more productive use of my time since I did commit to try and do like a weekly video thing. So it's not been working out too great for me. So uh, the past couple of videos that I've been trying to put together, I, I've realized that pushing out content is not as easy as it seems. And it's really hard to come up with three videos a week. So I think moving forward, I'm probably gonna do one video a week. I really hope I can do it because I'm, I'll be starting school very soon. But I'll be doing one video a week uh, and it will be slotted into either Toad Tuesdays Vlog Wednesdays and Technique Thursdays and these are the three playlists that I want to uh, keep current and keep fresh. You know, my older videos which have been a part of my channel for a long time, I put them kind of in the archive in the back burner. You can still search for them if you really wanted to and dig deep into the video archives but I really want my channel to focus on a lot more practical things so tidbits, uh, bite-sized content that you can take away. So I'll take this chance to answer some questions that I have on Facebook and let me just bring this up. Uh, have you ditched your analog pedal board for the Line 6 Helix? Now that is an interesting question. The short answer is no, I haven't ditched my big pedal board. In fact, I've got two different pedal boards right now. I've got the Line 6 Helix, which is my main church unit that I use. And I've got the big pedal board that I use for recording and for um, session work and, and stuff that I need and lock tones out of. I can't get Strymon stuff sounds out of the license Helix and I can't get the and I can't get um, Helix sounds out of my big pillar board. So they're used for different things. Um, on a more practical side, the reason why I haven't done anything about setting the stuff is because I have so much emotional investment in the, the big pedal board. You know, it took me years to put that pedal board together and I just can't see myself selling that off. And besides, the Helix wasn't my purchase, it was my wife's. My wife got me that as a birthday present. And that was, it's like, it's a, it's a dream come true when your spouse supports you in your gear dreams and your, uh, your gear pursuits. And in my case, the Helix has proven to be a very useful piece of kit. I can plan set lists and I can save presets according to the set lists and call them up on a Sunday morning and not worry about you know power cables going bad, uh, patch cables going bad, and the weight I can carry this with my hands. I can't, I can't do that with the big pedal board. You know, I gotta, I gotta have like a, tr a trolley and a, and and, and uh, I can't take public transport with with the pedal board. So that, that those have been factors. When, but when I do get a chance to record for other people, to record soundtracks or like the music that you're hearing right now, mostly that's done with the giant mothership pedal board. I do have one prayer request, and that is you can pray for my wrists. Last couple of weeks, they've been extremely painful, and uh, I have scapholoid dissociation in both my, my wrists, and that, that means the central ligament uh, in the wrist gets torn, and uh, there's actually a gap between like my bone here, uh, and there's supposed to be a ligament that's supposed to you know, carry the whole weight of the wrist, but uh, that central ligament gets torn and rebuilt you know, so, you know, every so now and then, uh, every so often now and then. So I've recently had a major injury to the left hand and it, I wasn't doing anything major. I was just driving my car and I did a really hard turn and I must have turned extra hard on my left wrist or something. So that was really out of commission for, for a week. And you can hear the effects of the pain. Uh, you know, I'm trying to soldier through the pain and play something at the same time. And because of that pain, I sometimes miss a beat or like, you know, I come in a bit too late and my timing's way off. You can hear that in the last couple of videos that I put together. And uh, you can keep me in prayer and pray for healing. God has healed these before. And uh, there has been divine, miraculous healing. I want to give a testimony 
there was one healing service or was it healing service? I can't remember, but there was a healing, uh, there was, there was a, uh, I was being prayed for. You know, uh, my, I have two brothers who came to me and they held my hands you know, and then they, they started to pray that, that my hands would be healed, that my wrists will be healed, the ligaments will, will be strengthened. And as they were praying, you know, I felt the warmth, you know, some heat that was generating coming from the wrists and I could not believe it, but when they finished praying, my wrists felt really good. I felt as good as new. And, um, and you must understand, ever since my wrist injuries, I haven't been able to play very fast guitar. I had to change, completely relook my technique. You know, I, I went from playing Dream Theater, John Bertucci, Joe Satriani stuff, to playing pop songs, I guess, and radio songs and stuff that, that is at, instead of 215 BPM, I'm playing stuff at 60 BPM. So it was a major shift for me. And, and over the years, I've been able to get these guys to to, to um, perform at a similar level as, as uh, pre-injury. Now, <laughs> I have a video I made, I think, on Instagram. You know, I've, I, I've managed to practice up to 200 BPM, clean 16 to my, you know, and, and this, it was this kind of coordination. And, and for me, uh, this was really uh, a, a testimony of blessing that God has been healing my wrists and I believe he can heal me again. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. If you have, do have any questions, comments, queries, or if you have any ideas, if you want me to do something uh, on Tone Tuesdays or Technique Thursdays, please post them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. This is Justin signing off.